This is Richard Fowler. I'm John Kilpatrick with Oklahoma Keto, Louisville, Kentucky, USA. And what we're look, going to look at is this basic exercise that I practice a lot. I practice it several times a day. And we keep tweaking it and improving it and uh, fixing whatever problems we're having. So here's what the exercise looks like if I just do it. So it would be huts. And that that's that's it. Very simple exercise. And you got your uh, so then if I do that with a partner and he's doing a shomanuchi or it would be a snap, you can think of it as a snap thrust to the face or as a shomanuchi, however you want to think of that. So, and then this would be the throw here. And so then, the first part of that is me as a startle response. This needs to happen as soon as, now this is just our standard practice format where our weapons don't touch. This has to be modified some if you're too close to your partner. Um, and that is, you know, if I find I'm in freestyle, this will happen a lot. I've just thrown somebody and I come up and there he is, then I'm just here. I don't have time to do any of this other stuff and don't need to. But if I wait for him to attack me, it's really hard to defend yourself from here. So if I look up and he's there, <laughs> I'm just, I just attack. Uh, but it's the same movement. I'm doing the same thing, but I don't have... Uh, but if, if he's coming at me and I can't just attack him, then I need this other stuff to keep me safe. So we're here, and so as he starts, so as he starts his movement, as soon as he starts, I do my startle response. This does two things. One, it gets me moving. And notice I do it the instant he moves. If I wait until I know what he's going to do, I'm already dead. It's too late. Because, you know, we're doing, we do these demonstrations in slow-mo so that you can see what we're doing. But really, people attack you so fast uh, that, that there's no time for anything. And particularly if you're going to do this and then start moving. There's really no time. So that's the first step. It's just this clap. Then the next step is the pivot. So if he does the same attack, and here's my pivot. And so here's how the pivot is done. What the feet are doing, now in Aikido, they teach you to pivot on the ball of your foot. Now, I'm not in a regular keto stance. You can do this in a regular keto stance. But like I've said, we like to practice this way because I can easily go to either side and my partner doesn't know ahead of time which way I'm going. Whereas if I stand in a regular keto stance, <clears throat> you can easily go to both sides too, but it's, it's not as easy. It's not near as easy as if you do it this way. And the way Aikido is normally practiced, you know, you're usually going to this back side. So, um, you can't do the kind of training we do that way. So, now, when he goes to attack here, what I'm going to do is I do my startle, then I'm turned down, I'm, watch this foot. It pivots on the ball of the foot, and that pivots my body. So that's pivoted my body, and I slide this foot back so my feet are beside each other, and that gets me out of the way of the attack. This hand wants to keep his attention. So the hand that's, that's on the side I'm going to turns palm up and then goes right into his face as I pivot. Now, I'm not close enough to him to hit him. So I'm not trying, really trying to threaten him. What I'm trying to do is keep his attention on my hand. So if he stabs, 
See, now he's, this has gone clear through me. He's gone deep enough to go through me. My hand's still not even close to his face. But my hand's between my face and his face, and it has stayed there the whole time. He doesn't see what I've done. And that's really, really important. This hand, he's go slowly. My hand is brushing against his arm as he comes in. If he does it, if we, if he does it on the other side. So he's coming. See, this is brushing here and spiraling in as protection. And it, and when we do it, normally I'm just barely touching him. I'm not really deflecting it. But it gives me a barrier there. You don't know what people are going to do. Even if he's not following me, maybe just the startle reflex throws him off or something and he swings the thing in some crazy way. Well, this arm there protects me. My other arm is down. Now, this is just a basic form. We vary this all over the place. But this is a basic practice. So, with the other arm down then, I'm ready. So this with, with both arms, it looks like this. See, and this arm is down here. Now my next move is to step in. So I step in, and this comes up and hits him in the face. So this is the second, um, th this would be the third move, the way I'm talking about this. So this hand's coming here. And that's the second move. So when we, the third move. So when we do this, I'm going clap, pivot, enter, and then this hand is going to hit him in the back of the head, and this hand comes into his face for the throw. So this is our basic, basic action. So if we, uh, and we may as well go ahead and do the throw here. So he comes in. See, so this is the whole movement. So again, we, have, we start here. Clap. Pivot. Enter. This hand strikes the back of the head. And then we pivot back. And you can step through here for the throw if you want to. So this is, is a basic drill that I do. I do this many times a day. Every hour, I stop and do uh, some calisthenics, go through this movement a little bit, and so I, I do this all, all the time. 